So on page 90, we're looking at activity 12, focusing on transition words. Uh, they're transition words that you can hear in the lecture, both parts one and two of the lecture. Now, many lecturers, many teachers give transition words to enumerate or list things one by one. They may give their listeners a preview by saying the total number of items or kinds. And when you hear sentences like the ones that are on this page, page 90, when you hear sentences like these, you should listen for more information about each kind or each item. All right? You should listen for them. So in the master student tip, the master student tip on the left side in blue, let's take a look at that. It says, listen for number phrases that enumerate. You see the word N-U-M in the word number, and you see N-U-M in enumerate? They are related words. So, so enumerate, that's a verb to list out by number. So listen for number phrases that enumerate main ideas like the five major themes or the second reason. Also listen for phrases that include words like major, main, important, and necessary. This will help you identify the significant points of the lecture. Take note of these important points to use when you prepare for tests or other assignments. So we have some examples here. The first example says, today we'll examine the five major themes of geography. How many? Five. five. All right. So that means when you are a good student and you're feeling very alert, you'll say, oh, five, don't fall asleep after number one. <laughs> Keep listening for number two, three, four, and five. All right. So that gives you a hint that you should take notes on one, two, three, four, and five. So when you hear something like that, it's giving you advance notice. All right, here's another one. I'm gonna show you the two main ways to save your files. Okay, so if you're on the computer, is there only one way? No, there are many, but I'm gonna show you two. So after I show you one, keep listening, I'm gonna show you another. There are four important reasons that you should review for the exam. Here's the first one, second one, third one, fourth. Listen to all four of the reasons. The next example says, in spoken English, the S and ES endings are pronounced in three different ways. Three different ways. You know those already. What are they? Voiceless, voiced, an extra syllable is. is, right, okay. Then we have an example. Let's look at several factors that affect the geography of the Northeast region. Now, several, what is the meaning of several? Several, maybe three or four, three, four, five, but not one and not two. It has to be three or more, all right? Three, four, five, something like that. So start listening and keep listening till you get at least three and maybe a few more than that. Another example, many kinds of people at the college help students reach their educational goals. Many people, not just teachers, but also who else helps you? Who else, who else at the college helps students reach their educational goals Your besides friends. instructors? How about counselors? Right, okay, anybody else? Friends. Okay, friends, sure. Okay, good. Right? Librarians, okay, secretaries, lots of people, many people that are on the campus to help students reach their educational goals. So if the lecturer says that at the beginning, be ready to find out all the different kinds of people. Now, not always. You know, I said that often an instructor will give this information at the beginning, but sometimes a lecturer doesn't tell you the total number at the beginning. And you hear the first item or the first kind, and then you hear more. 
So when you hear a phrase that includes one kind, one type, the first kind, the first reason, then you should be ready to hear another kind, the second reason, another example, okay? So sometimes they don't tell you how many at the beginning because sometimes we don't know exactly. We keep on listing and listing and listing and we keep adding transition words like first and a second or another or then. So those are helpful. So here are some examples. The first pers per the first purpose of this activity is blah 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 blah. The second purpose, da 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 da. The third one, da 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 da. So if you hear those, take notes on each item. Here's another example. One special arc one special characteristic of this architecture is da 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 da. Another characteristic is da 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 da. All right, so then you're listing out. You're hearing and writing notes what the lecturer says. How about the most common kind of bird is brrr. Another common kind is da 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 da. So you're taking notes on each kind. Another example. The first necessary step to do is da 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 da. The next thing to do is da 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 da. And the last thing is to do is da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Okay, so taking notes on each of those steps. So let's listen to parts of the lecture and see if you can capture the transition words. Here's now, the first one. A very useful way to think about geography is in terms of major themes, uh, major ideas or themes. All right, so this example was given to you already in the book. A very useful way to think about geography is in terms of major themes, major ideas or themes. All right, so that's what you should pay attention to, and you should be writing that down when you're taking your notes. All right, let's listen to the second sentence. In this class, we're going to examine the five major themes of geography. Five the five locations. major themes, right, the five major themes. And then he lists all of location, place, place. What's the next one? Region. Uh huh. And after that, movement. 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 Move. Movement. Movement. And, and uh, human, human environment, environment interaction. interaction. Human environment interaction. Can you memorize all of those? Yes. Good. Those are the five themes. If you can recognize, recognize and understand these important themes, you'll understand all the different aspects of geography. All right, so you wrote, if you, can under, if you recognize and understand these important themes. How do you spell these? T-H-E-S-E, important. I-M-P-O-R-T-A-N-T, and themes. T-H-E-M-E-S, good, that's plural. Number four. Now, don't worry if you don't understand these five themes yet, all right? So, I what did you write? Some examples. Don't worry if you don't understand these five themes. These five themes. So, that helps you remember to focus on five themes. Not just three, but five. Let me explain how these five themes apply to Boston, okay? Where is Boston? Okay, so right. what, oh, wait, where did you, what did you write in the blank here? Let me explain how these five themes apply to Boston. Okay, let's listen to number six. So the question, where is Boston, is about its location. That is the first theme of geography. That What's the first theme? The first location. theme. Right, location. That is the first 
theme. So the first theme. Notice that when we say one, two, three, we call these cardin uh, cardinal numbers. But when we say the first, the second, the third, these are ordinal numbers and they always start out with the word the in front of it, okay? So let's move on to number six. So the question, where is Boston, is about its location. That is the first theme of geography. What did What's you write? What's the first theme? The location. first right. theme. Okay, the first theme. What's the first theme? The first theme, right. Okay, number seven. Moving on to the next theme, let's ask the question, what is Boston like? What did you write in the first three blanks? The next theme. The, the next, next theme. The next, what's the next to theme? To describe Boston, place, the second theme of geography, can help you answer this question. The and you wrote Moving the, the second theme. theme. Let's ask yeah, Boston, place, the second theme of geography can help you. Number eight. What about region? This is another theme of geography. This is what? Another theme of geography. Good. Okay, number nine. The fourth theme of geography is movement. The fourth theme, right. The fourth theme of geography is movement. Number ten. Human environment interaction is the fifth theme. This the last, fifth theme. A human environment theme interaction is the, the fifth theme. People interact with their environment. This, last, last, this what? Last, last, so this ways that people interact with their environment. This last theme refers to the ways that people interact with their environment. It refers to the ways that people interact with their environment. This last theme refers to the ways that this last theme refers to the ways that people inter this last theme refers to the Got ways it? that people inter last theme this last theme that means I'm finished I don't want to tell you any more themes <laughs> I've gotten to number five right okay and here we have eleven this semester we'll explore all of these five themes of geography in America location place region movement and human environment interaction. So here we put, we'll explore what? All, All of these five themes. Five themes.